Hello and welcome to the Hub on CGTN. I'm Wang Guan. Greetings from Belgrade, Serbia. Welcome back to the Balkans. Now, China and Serbia over the years have described each other as ironclad friend, which is, of course, evidenced by numerous projects taking place here in Serbia and in China, of course. So today we'll be taking you to some projects here in Belgrade and other cities in Serbia of China serving cooperation. We'll also be talking to the Chinese ambassador in Serbia to explore this multifaceted and growing friendship. Traveling on the Christmas day. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's pretty unusual. Yeah, it's pretty unusual. We're traveling to Novi Sad. My girlfriend, Yelena, she's from Novi Sad. I'm from Belgrade. So we are just going to visit. Uh, we're going to go to visit her family and to have like a breakfast, or like Christmas breakfast. It's a, it's a thing in Serbia. Now it's only 8.40 and then you can still catch the train, get her home yeah, and yeah. have a breakfast. Yeah, the improvement with railway is excellent. Before this, usually people will avoid tra traveling by train because it would take a longer time. The rails were not as good as the, the rails are now. So now it's really, it's a huge difference, huge difference. Not just the railroad, there are a bunch of bridges that, that have been built by, by uh, Chinese builders. So we pretty much appreciate all the things that you have done for Serbia. And we hope this comp cooperation is going to continue in the future. And that we're going to have even more, like more rails, uh, railroads across Serbia done by Chinese engineer, engineers. And in a way, we have similar values, family, the, the growth, the expansion, work ethics. I think that, that those are kind of things that are pretty similar and that, that kind of bond us in a way. So this is the high speed train that we'll be traveling on today, train number 542, taking us from Belgrade, the capital city of Serbia, all the way to Novi Sad, that is the second largest city in Serbia in the country's north. Previously, the whole journey would take an hour and a half now, with the upgraded track and the new bullet train, only half an hour. Now we're finally on Budapest Belgrade train, the fastest train anywhere in Serbia. Uh, the top speed went from something like 40 kilometers an hour all the way to 200 kilometers an hour. That is phenomenal. It cut travel distance from Budapest in Hungary to Belgrade, Serbia, all the way from eight hours, just three hours. And we're also told that uh, the ticket price was really reasonable. It was just uh, something like 480 Serbian dinar, that is the equivalent of 33 RMB or a little over five dollars I would say. One Serbian feasibility report says that uh, currently it's taking three million passengers, this Budapest Belgrade train. And once it's all completed, once all done and constructed, it will take nine million passengers a year. My aunt, her sister, uh, lives in New Novi Sad. We live in Belgrade. This is my first time going with this train, and my mother is his fourth time. Is uh, yes. for her experience, she says it's very fast and very uh, reliable. Yes, I take it because it's the cheapest way to get to Novi Sad and by far the fastest. Because by auto route, it takes about an hour fifteen with a car and hour forty five with a bus. So it's impossible here. I live close to the station. I just sit to it. It being 30 minutes is the best thing that ever happened to us who have to commute to Novi Sad. I even have friends who now go to faculty in Novi Sad because it's so easy. It takes her less time to get to Novi Sad than me to get across the city. Uh,一秒回到国内的那种感觉,因为感觉只有像在我们国家才比较能够常见,就是那么方便快捷的高铁,然后他们服务也都做得很好,我们刚刚也买了一些咖啡还有水来试一下,然后我们都觉得他们的
啊，所以我我有一个感觉很好。还有一个服务员问你，你想喝咖啡，想喝茶，也很好的，对吗？如果我饿了或者我渴了，我我可以问一下，对吗？我想一一瓶水，然后太好了，我有感觉非常好啊。Arriving at the renovated Novi Sad station, I met Chi Feng Ran, Deputy General Manager for Serbia China Railway International, and I really got to know more about the train line that I was traveling on. 齐总，刚才我们体验的被诺断，其实只是整个匈塞铁路的一部分。是的，这个被诺断呢，是我们匈塞铁路塞尔亚段啊、呃、先开的啊、呃、这个前前两段工程。那么它有个第三段第三段工程，现在正在建设，就是从诺维萨德到这个塞尔亚与匈牙利的边境城市苏博蒂查。嗯呃，然后最后呢，修建到边境，这是整个塞尔维亚段的一个平面的一个示意图。嗯、我们现在正在建设的诺苏段呢，总长是一百零八点一公里。嗯，呃，刚才这个您乘坐的这个贝诺段铁路呢，加起来是八十公里。它这个原先这个铁路的时速呢，只有大概三四十公里，而基本上呢被这个公众呢所这个这个遗忘了啊、呃，没有人再乘坐铁路了。那么这个经过铁路经过升级改造之后，重建之后呢，现在铁路的时速达到两百公里每小时，那么又重新。啊，焕发了这个就是民众对这个铁路的这个一个喜爱，这个热情。考虑到当地的这个情况、标准、技术，有哪些困难？我们是怎样克服那些困难的？呃，这里边的困难主要有这个几方面吧。第一个呢，这个铁路呢是要第一要考虑中国高铁的技术和欧欧洲呃铁路标准的一个融合。第二一个呢，就是说如何克服当地的资源建设资源的有限，工期内吧，规定的工期内能够如期的这个完工，啊，这是这个两方面比较主要的困难。实际上，这个匈塞铁路首先被诺段的这个建设成功，以及诺苏段现在这个能够大干快上这个局面，归根结底还是取决于这个两国元首的这个战略引领，两国的这个呃友谊吧和务实合作。And from there, I went on another journey with Chi. To the track laying base to find out more secrets about a faster and smooth train. This is the Chinese version of the 用一种比较落后的这个相对的工艺啊，现在现场进行焊，工艺呢比较落后，然后功效也比较低。焊接头越少，那么相当于是这个就是越平稳。因为现场焊接的设备是移动焊机，移动焊机的这个工艺、这个精度各方面的跟这个是还要有一些差距。这个魔鬼在细节中啊。<笑> the Budapest Belgrade Railway is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of cooperation projects between China and Serbia. In light of the Belt and Road Initiative, more projects are underway to benefit the locals. To learn more about these projects, let's hear from Yang Dong, General Manager of the China Road and Bridge Corporation, or CRBC, Central and Eastern Europe Regional Center. Now, currently, the projects are 三分之一的地域面积和三分之一的人口，嗯、呃，达到了覆盖的人口面积达到二百三十万人。嗯、呃，这个项目建成了以后，它会提升塞尔维亚的污水处理率，污水和固废的这个改造会使它的整个地下水、土壤都得到这个更好的保护和治理。在这个道路基础设施领域，除了今天早上您乘坐的匈塞高高速铁路由我们和国铁国际联合承担以外，我们还在这做了这个诺维萨德到鲁马的快速路线。Regarding the Novi Sad Ram Expressway project that Yang just mentioned, it will serve as a significant transport link and economic corridor for southeastern Europe as a whole. I had a chance to visit Expressway's tunnels, where a lot of construction was going on. Where Malina from CRBC showed us the impressive work that are underway. Welcome. This is our project of Fruška Gora okay. corridor. It's very important here in Serbia. It's not only important for this northern part of uh, Serbia Vojvodina, but the whole Serbia because act actually it's going to connect Novi Sad, which is the capital of the province here in the north, Vojvodina, with Ruma, Šabac, Loznic, and further with Bosnia, actually Republic of Srpska. So it's very important because there is a lot of traffic going there, and this is going to be. It's not a highway. It's like a fast road, but almost a highway, and uh, it's going to be along 45 kilometers. Uh, right now, you can see the uh, the tunnel. We are constructing the longest, what's going to be the longest tunnel in uh, uh, in Serbia. It's going to be like three and five kilometers, 
And this project, uh, beside the tunnel, it also has one really large bridge over Danube River in uh, Novi Sad. Uh, currently, my company, China Road and Bridge Corporation, is actually uh, building two bridges uh, over Danube in Novi Sad. One is the part of this project, and another one is part of the bypass of Novi Sad. This road, first, 一七五两条走廊，相当于它原来是两个呈锐角的一个交叉的路，它在中间打一条这个快速通道，使这个大量的货运也能加速这个物流，欧洲物流，特别是克罗地亚里耶卡港这个输港的这个效率，应该说从它的整体经济性测算，对欧洲这个减碳目标这些都是非常重要的。But the stories of cross-continental projects are not always as rosy to tell. Especially at the start, the different standards and qualifications can raise questions and doubts among the stakeholders and the outsiders. For CRBC, the first Chinese company to work in Serbia, the biggest hurdle was not the construction itself, but how to establish a virtuous cycle of trust with the local partners and authorities. Serbia, 毕竟是在欧洲地区，它的很多标准规范直接来源于欧洲欧盟地区，所以原来对我们的都是比较质疑的。你像铁路上面呢，就是像钢轨这一款产品，在厂家的配合下，我们在波兰、在德国、荷兰做了大量的耐磨、刚度以及其他的一些特性试验，最后通过了差不多三年的时间，我们拿到了。欧洲的 TSI 这个互联互通的技术，这是一个欧洲的最高的，当然也是通用的标准。CRBC has thus earned a reputation for quality and efficiency by testing construction parts to meet the European standards, and most importantly, completing projects on time and within budget. At the beginning, it was a little bit, you know, harder because、uh, the first Chinese construction company working here, so. Not so many people believe that the Chinese company could do a project of that scale because it was a larger bridge over the Danube River in Belgrade, the first one built after maybe 50 years. So you know, at the beginning,、uh, it was not so easy to convince everybody that the Chinese company could do something yeah, like that. But once we finished that、uh, project and it was completed、um, within the、um, within the budget, within the time frame that was uh, that was、um, determined by the contract. Everybody, everybody understood that Chinese companies were really Chinese construction company really have, have this capability. So after that, a lot of other companies also entered the market. We entered Serbia, entered the Middle East market for 14 years. Ah, our feeling is that our cooperation is getting better. Our customers, our Serbia customers, whether it's our government or our cooperation partners, are very good. 中国公司，尤其是对我们的中国的以前相对比较受到质疑或者是这个怀疑的，像我们中国产品，特别是高端的，像我们的中国的工程设备，我们的中国的高端的一些材料是越来越信任。Let me ask you, you think Chinese companies、um, in general and CRBC in particular, they are making a difference in the Balkans? Yeah, I think for the better. Yeah, for the better because this country is being constructed during the past thirteen、um, years. There used, I guess that you already saw the railway、uh, yeah. from Belgrade to Novi Sad, and it's going to be built all, all the way to the Budapest. Then the bridge in Belgrade, the, the highway E763,、uh, it connected some parts of the Serbia that did not have a highway before, and、uh, there were a lot of traffic and、uh, many accidents. So, yes, it's making a great change. These projects are not only game changers for regional interconnectivity and local people's livelihoods, but also. Landmarks of a bilateral friendship between China and Serbia. As a specific construction company manager, how do you see China and Serbia's friendship? I think the Serbian people are very loyal to their country, to their political party, to their world order. I think the Chinese people are very similar. They are very loyal to their country. 